We have two versions of balance. The first balance is your own balance, when you stay on your own feet and you do not depend on the weight of your partner. And the second version is a couple balance when you put your weight and you kind of go through each other and you're connected but it's not heavy. Not everyone uses a couple balance, especially in WDC Federation. That's why let's start from the own balance because it's the most basic thing and it's the most important. I want to give you a couple useful exercises that can help you. Let's start. Let's go to the wall and try this exercise. The distance between the wall and your feet should be half of your foot. You bend your knees and then you need also to check that you touch with the hip this wall. So it's not like this that only your knees are touching, but also your thigh is stretched and everything is touching until your sternum. That's the the perfect way to feel how much weight you need to move forward because if you will do a little bit uh, bigger step from the wall and then go forward right now you lean on this wall and how you can check i try to put my weight backward again i will use my upper part of the back to move my weight that means that i will lean on my partner but don't lean on me like that let's do it again like this okay if I have the right distance I can bend my knees I can stay in my own balance and I can easily go to the straight legs and to the bend again okay but if I go close to the wall you see that I can't bend my knees I can't stretch my thigh, I just stay on the fully straight legs. And for ballroom it doesn't work. The other exercise that you can try, you can go on the ball of the foot, also check first of all that you have half foot distance, go on the ball of the foot and right now you have fully straight knees. But in ballroom we have always soft knees. So bend your knees, okay, and feel that you stretch your thigh. And if you're using your upper part of the back, like this, because you don't have any choice, you already lean on the wall. That means that you went too far. If you can easily straighten up your knees again, and you see I engage only my legs. So that means that you find a round proportion. Look at when I do this wrong. You see, I use the top of my head and then I stretch all my knees. Oh, it doesn't look good. Okay, let's try this with partner. So we go close to each other and here imagine that we have a wall between us remember we did an exercise close to the wall and we measured the half of your feet so measure one the half of your feet and guys also do the same and here that will be our checking point open the one leg to the side and then you need to go and check this level works for you or not give the weight together and right now i see that we use a couple i feel that i will use a couple balance because i'll kind of need to use a little bit of my upper back to go in this case with our proportions we need to go even closer so let's measure quarter feet in this case move your feet upper part i need to go to the side okay girl so don't stay in front of him the legs should go my left then his right my right and this his left and then we go and we meet here in between and then we can check straighten up your knees and go backward again and you see Right now we can do this easily and not use our upper part of the back and, but if we will go further, in this case we have a couple balance yeah, in a couple in WGSF does like this but I not recommend uh, this for you I recommend for you to start from your own balance and then when you will be very advanced you can decide what works better for you especially if it takes in which federation you are dancing then, when we came here then we can check how we're working together so we can shift our weight to the right, to the left and then also turn so guy decide whether we turn in or not and here we need to find this gold middle okay so if you we are leaning on each other that's too bad because okay maybe we can shift our way to the right to the left but when we will already start to dance it's gonna be super hard because we will be pushed to each other and the other way if we're touching barely each other and when the guy moves okay i lost him i lost him the other thing that you can do, go to the ball of the foot and right now, okay, we have straight knees. Then measure or like a half foot or a quarter foot. You need to measure what works better for you. Then bend your knees and right now you see we have stretched uh, thigh, so it's not like we're sitting on the toilet and we're connected together. Then everything that you need to do, just put the heels on the floor 
but still be connected so you're not changing anything in your pelvis in your thigh in your knees and then you can go again so that can work everywhere so for example let's do the full frame you okay go then go to the ball of the foot check that you stay on your own foot go to the right go to the left and then you can start to dance your own routine so the next exercise will be for you try to dance the whole routine like that when the one person is holding around and the other person is just putting arms on the side or like down then you can switch the roles and then you can try to do some moves even without arms so for example let's try to do small box and one two three 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 this exercise not good everywhere in all cases it's very good exercise in order to feel that you really have a connection and that you wait for that partner i am waiting for the leading partner because who's making a step forward is a leading partner that's not the best exercise if you want to feel your own balance because you kind of can exaggerate and start to push to each other okay so pick your exercise really carefully so i think when you switch the roles one partner they're holding around and then you do the opposite that's a good one and when you dance both without arms that's a really also good exercise but in other cases let's show you the difference We'll kind of lean on each other a little bit, okay? And let's move. Let's do the small box. Oh, <laughs> not the good one. The other one, where we barely touch each other and where we don't have a one connection with each other. <laughs> okay. And the third one you already see. If we give an example using our arms and we're both leaning on each other and pushing too much and one person will take away his arm, let's do this, okay, so I just was dependent on his pushing, okay, I was dependent on his arms, that's why I lost my balance. Then the next one, if you're like barely touching each other and for example partner decide to move somewhere, I would just try to follow him, but you see it doesn't work well. And the last one, when we give information to each other, I can say that we feel that we push, but it's not like we're leaning on it. And then we move this arm together, but if he will take away his arm, you see, I still stay in the same moment. I'm not like falling somewhere, okay? So that's a perfect balance for you. Do you have this problem that when you make a frame, the girl stay in front of you, or even if she's not staying in front of you, you have kind of circle frame and it's not sharp? If you're interested in how to fix that, go ahead and subscribe and wait for my next videos. That was Elena Dogan. Thank you for being with me. Love you. Bye.